is Dr. Ivy B, and I'm gonna be your doctor today, okay? Before we get started, I want to confirm a few of your um, personal information. Can you please confirm your last name for me? Okay. Okay, and your date of birth, please. Why don't you tell me a little bit about why you're here today? Okay. Okay, so you've been having some pain then. Um, would you say it's the same on your right and your left jaw? Kind of about the same? Okay. What part of the jaw would you say is hurting? So kind of like here. So, um, what other symptoms have you noticed? Is there anything else that you've noticed recently? Okay, migraines. How often are your migraines? Okay, once a week. That's, that's pretty rough. And what symptoms do you get when you get your migraines? Okay. Okay, blurry vision, um, sensitivity to lights. Okay, very good. Is there any pain, um, superficial pain that you can pinpoint when you're getting these migraines? Maybe any pain on the muscles of your face? No, nothing? Okay. Um, have, have you noticed or someone has ever told you if you grind your teeth at night? Yes. Okay. Do you know if you've been doing this for a long time? Is it since you were a little or is it just more recent? Okay. All the time. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. So I'm going to start examining you. Um, just let me take a few notes of this information that you just told me. Okay. Okay. So there's pain on the joint and you said it's the same on both sides right okay so same on both sides okay very good have you noticed that uh, when you're chewing or eating something there's a clicking noise have you noticed that yes okay so there's clicking there's grinding, grinding teeth, and migraines. When you get your migraines, how do you rate the level of pain, would you say, on a scale from 1 to 10? 10 is the most pain that you've ever felt in your life. Um, how would you rate the pain when you get migraines? An 8. Okay, that's pretty, pretty high, so... Pain level. Okay, and uh, when was the last time that you got a migraine? Yesterday. Okay. Okay, so I'm very happy that you came to see me today. I'm so glad that we had an opening for you to come right away. Um, have a few ideas of what might be happening, um, but I do want to go ahead and do a cranial nerve exam. I want to make sure there's no um, nerve damage that could be causing that pain and the migraines and I also will be um, doing a very very detailed examination of your jaw okay okay perfect so I'm gonna get started just by palpating your face from my gloves on first warming up my hands because I'm it's very cold here. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna start just palpating your face and your head. I'm looking for any lumps, any masses. 
I think that would be indicative or something going on. Is there any pain? Can you hear them palpating? No. Okay, so your head seems to be very symmetrical. I do not notice any lumps or any masses here. Okay. Is there any pain or discomfort? Not on the head. I'm gonna go ahead and palpate your face now. Okay. You just go ahead and relax. So I'm palpating your forehead right now. Is there any pain here? No? Okay. Moving on to your temples. Any pain here? A little bit. Okay. So it's... Had you noticed that pain before? No? Okay. So as I'm pressing, if I put more pressure here, would you say that it increases the level of pain? Yeah, okay. So how do you rate that pain right now? A five? Okay. And how would you describe it? Is it a sharp pain, a dull, pretty dull? Okay. As I'm moving down to your jaw, how does it feel right here? Is there any pain? A little bit? Okay, what you say the pain is? It's more intense on your temples or your jaw. About the same. How about your lower jaw? Some sort of palpating here. Here is less. Okay. How about your chin? Is there any pain here? No? Okay, so I'm gonna be percussing lightly on your face. Let me know if you feel any pain. Any pain on your forehead? No? No sides of your forehead? Okay, very good. I'm gonna pop it here, percuss your left tumble. Yes. Yes, lower jaw, a little bit, over here, not that much, okay, about here, yeah, okay, your chin, okay, I'll try that again, no, okay, perfect, so, moving up the other side, lower jaw, no, there it starts, Okay, very good. Okay. And the temple, yes. Forehead, not anymore. Okay. Just gonna tap lightly on your nose. Did that hurt? Just gonna check your... The bridge of your nose. Okay. Everything seems to be normal here. paint around your eyes. How about here? Is there any pain? No? A little bit of pressure? Yeah. Okay. Okay, very good. So I'm just gonna make note of that. So, there is intense pain on your temples, jaw, and starts decreasing as we move down the, the lower jaw and towards the chin. No pain, forehead, nose, uh, or chin. Okay, and um, you mentioned that the level of the pain is a 5. So that is pretty high considering that you hadn't really noticed that that pain was there. Okay, 
um, I'm gonna be checking your vision next. Okay, so first I'm gonna check your pupils. I'm gonna start shining this very bright light on both of your eyes. I'm gonna be moving it from one eye to the other. I'm just checking the dilation and constriction of your pupils, okay? Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yeah, so your pupils are dilating and constricting symmetrically, so that is very encouraging. Um, would you be able to look up my pen? I'm gonna move it towards your eyes. I'm just checking for any more fans out of the ordinary. Okay, very good. So that looks normal right there. Let's go ahead and do a vision test. We can use a snowing chart on the wall. I'm just gonna use this one, but this one works just fine. So how does this look right now? Can you read all the letters? Yeah, okay. Um, can you go ahead and read this row right here? It's a little bit small, okay. So how about this one over here? You can read that, okay? Okay, perfect, yeah, that's um, F-D-P-L-T-C-E-O, yeah, that's perfect. Um, can you go ahead and cover your right eye for me? Okay. So, how does this look to you now? Does it look the same? Yeah. Okay. So, can you go ahead and read this letter? This row? Okay. You have D-P-L-T-C-E-O. Can you go ahead and cover your other eye? Would you say this looks the same? Yeah, okay. Can you go ahead and read this last row right here? Not the last one, the previous to last. Starting on your right side. Okay, O E C T L P D F. Perfect. Um, can you tell me what color is this? Red? Okay. And this one? green okay that is very good I'm gonna ask you to name a couple other colors would you tell me what color is this clear okay perfect what color is this peach okay and this color how would you describe it blue okay so your vision seems to be 20 25 which is not too bad um i would encourage you to go and get an eye exam um you might need some glasses or contact lenses but it doesn't seem like it's anything major okay you might even be more more comfortable with them Okay, um, I'm gonna be moving my fingers into your field of vision and I want to know I want you to tell me when you start seeing my fingers, okay? Okay No Okay, very good Okay, perfect Very good Okay, very good Okay, perfect. Just see one? Okay, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Both. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna ask you to follow my light with your eyes. I'm gonna be making some shapes. Please tell me what shape you think this is. Circle, very good. Square, perfect. A star, okay, very good. 
about this oval very good and how about this rectangle okay that is perfect so I'm gonna take a look at your optic nerve and just gonna be getting very close here to you Take a look right here. Okay, so your optic nerve seems to be a very good shape. I do not notice any lesions, anything that would be concerning. Your sclera seems to be intact. I do not notice any scratches lesions there either no irritation all the edges are smooth okay very good okay that's very very good your retina seems to be intact as well there's no signs of cataracts or any other issues there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the other one. Okay, so... Okay, good. So, everything looks good here again. I do not notice out of the ordinary. Everything seems to be okay here as well. Your retina seems to be in very good shape. There's no scratches, no lesions. It seems to be intact. There's no inflammation. Your sclera seems to be white and free of any lesions. Any other problems there, and your optic nerve seems intact as well. Okay, so I'm very happy with what I'm seeing here. Okay, that's very, very good. Okay, um, before we move on to your sense of smell. I do want to take your vitals, okay? So I'm going to start with the blood pressure. I'm going to be putting this cuff right here on your arm. Okay. Can you go ahead and uncross your legs for me? Very good. And I'm just going to Pressure is 100 over 70, which is normal. Just gonna slide this out of your arm. Okay, there we go. Put this away. So we said blood pressure is 100 over 70, which is in the normal range. Okay, I'm gonna take your oxygen. And your pulse, I'm going to place this device right here on your finger, your index finger, here you go, okay, perfect. So I'm going to leave that there while it gives us a reading, 
And meanwhile, I'm gonna take your temperature. So this one's gonna go in your, under your tongue. Okay, so... So just go ahead and lift your tongue for me. Okay. Just go ahead and leave it there. Okay, very good. Okay, perfect. So that's 98.1. That's completely normal. Um, let me grab that from your finger. Okay, so your oxygen is 99 and your heart rate is 85, okay. So heart rate is 85, pulse, um, oxygen is 99 and temperature is Let's go ahead and take a look at your nose. Um, first, gonna take a look inside your nose with this light, just to make sure there's no inflammation. Um, sometimes lack of smell could not necessarily be indicative of nerve damage. It could just be that you have some blockage on your nose. Okay. Okay, can you go ahead and look up for me? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna get here. Taking a look at your nose. Everything seems to be very good. Okay. Okay. Now looking at the other nose. Well, perfect. There is no inflammation. Very good. You can look down again. There's no inflammation, no redness. And that's very good. I do not notice any accumulation of mucus. So, we can go ahead and do the smell test. Can you go ahead and cover your right nostril for me? Okay. So, I'm going to put this. On your left nostril. Can you take a deep breath? Do you smell that? Lavender? Okay. Go ahead and cover your other eye. Oh, your, not your other eye, your other nostril. I'm sorry. Okay, take a deep, take a deep breath. Peach? Okay, very good. Okay, so smell is normal. There's no deficiencies there. And your nose seems in very good shape. So now I'm gonna take a look inside your mouth. Just gonna use my light right here and I'm gonna be pressing down on your tongue with this tongue depressor. Um, it might feel a little bit weird, but I wanna Take a look at your throat and your tonsils. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, very good. There's no concerns there. Your throat seems to be perfectly healthy. There's no inflammation, no redness, no irritation, so no signs of infection, and your tonsils are not enlarged which is a very good sign. I did not notice any ulcers or sores in your mouth either. So, now I'm gonna do a taste test. I'm gonna give you the substance to taste and I want you to tell me if you can recognize the smell, the, the taste. Okay, can you go ahead and open your mouth? 
What do you think? Coffee. Okay. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna be putting this away. And I do want to take a swab off your mouth. And I'm gonna send that to the lab. Just to be sure there's nothing there. Yeah, gotta open a little bit wider. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna be sending this to the lab. Make sure there's no um, viruses that could be causing some of these symptoms that you've been having. Okay, so now let's take a look at your ears. I am gonna look first. Just look for my light. Here it is. So first I'm gonna be looking at the external part of your ear. Okay, can you turn your head a little bit that way? So, looking here on your external part of your ear, everything seems to be in good shape. There's a little bit of wax, which is very healthy, because um, it really helps protect the ear from any infection. There's no excess of wax, so that's very good. There's no inflammation on your external Ear, so that's very good. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a look at my autoscope. Okay, so just go ahead and relax. I'm gonna introduce this here in your ear. Okay, so everything seems to be in good shape here. I do not notice any redness or any inflammation your tympanic membrane is pearl gray so there's no concerns of any ear infection okay that's very very good okay would you go ahead and look at the other side for me I'm going to get in here and just check on your external ear. There is some healthy buildup of wax, but nothing out of the ordinary. There's no redness or inflammation that would be concerning. So that is perfect. Very good. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Taking a look inside as well. Okay. Just go ahead and relax. I'm going to introduce this in your ear. Okay. So your tympanic membrane is pearl gray. I do not notice any signs of inflammation. There's nothing that could indicate an infection or something that would be. hearing test. I'm going to be making a vibrating sound with my tuning fork. Just let me know if you can hear this and when you stop hearing it, okay? Can you hear that? Yes. Stopped. Okay, very good. Can you hear that? Yes. It stopped. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, go ahead. 
going to close your eyes. I'm going to be making a sound close to your ears. And just let me know what side um, you hear it louder, okay? Loud. Right, very good. Yes. Yes, that was your right. Yes. Left. Okay, both. Perfect. So, I'm gonna be whispering some words to your ear. Can you go ahead and repeat them? For me. Okay. Plant. Okay. Very good. So, your ears are intact. Hearing is good. And your taste is in perfect shape as well. Um, tympanic membrane is normal. Okay, that's all very good. So, I do want to go ahead and measure your face. I'm checking for some symmetry. Um, any asymmetry could indicate some muscle wasting, so I do want to make sure that that's not the case, okay? Okay, so forehead to your. Okay, that is 60. From your nose to your chin. Okay, that's 75 millimeters. Okay, so your right eye to your temple. 65. Your left eye to your temple. Sixty five. Okay. Your face vertically. Okay, that is eight inches. Very good. And the horizontal is seven. Okay, perfect. So to one eye, that's three and a half. And seven, so that's perfectly symmetrical. Okay, so can you go ahead and give me a big smile? Is there any pain here as I'm palpating? No? Okay, can you go ahead and raise your eyebrows for me? Okay, I'm gonna try to push down on them, just don't let me... Okay, very good. Um, can you go ahead and frown your eyebrows? Mm. I'm gonna try to lift them up. Just resist. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so I do not notice any muscle wasting. Your muscles on your face seem to be working perfectly fine. Um, I do want to go ahead and do a sensations test on your face, make sure that you're perceiving um, sensations as you should. That could also give us a lot of very useful information. So, first I'm gonna do a sharp or dull test. So I'm gonna touch you with this. That's gonna, that feels dull. You feel it? Okay. And this is gonna feel sharp. Okay. Okay, just let me know um, what you feel. Okay, okay. Don't 
doll. Okay. Sharp. Okay. Doll. Okay. Sharp. Very good. Doll. Okay. Very good. Okay. So. Doll. Very good. Let's try this. Did you feel that? No. Okay. Let's try this right here. Sharp. Did you feel that? Um, would you say the same as other parts of your face? A little bit less. Okay. Let's try here. Your forehead. Sharp. Very good. Okay. That's very good. Sharp, okay. Not as much, okay, but sharp. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this right here on your temple. You didn't feel that, okay, very good. How about this? No feeling, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be touching you with this cold object. It feels really cold here. I'll why you feel that cold. Okay, so just let me know where you feel this on your face. Forehead. You didn't feel that, okay? Barely felt that on your left jaw, okay. How about here? Your chin, okay? Barely, okay, your right jaw. Would you say it's the same? Um, amount of cold on your left and your right jaw. Yeah, okay. Okay, so how about here? No, no feeling there, okay. How about here? Forehead. Forehead, very good. Forehead. Forehead, yes. Yeah. Nose. Nose, yes. No feeling, okay. Chin. Nothing there either, okay. Okay. Chin. No, that was the note. You sure you found that on chin? No, okay. Okay, that's very good. Okay, I'm gonna be touching you with one or two. Um, just let me know um, if you feel one or two prongs on your face. One. Two, okay. One. None, okay. Two. Two, okay. Two, okay. One, very good. One, yes. Okay. Two, yeah. One, okay. One, very good. Two, one on each side, okay. Okay, so I have a very good idea of what's going on with you, um, your migraines and the pain and loss of sensitivity that you're feeling on your jaw seems to be radiating from your temporomandibular joint right here. So you're having a dysfunction on your joint that sometimes happens with people that grind their teeth or if you tense your jaw a lot when you're very sick. I don't know if that's something that you tend to do. That same pain is radiating um, to your temples and that's what's causing your headaches. Um, I'm surprised that you hadn't really noticed that it's painful to you to the touch. Um, as you can imagine, it's super inflamed right here. 
So right here to feel out. Okay, so that's what cause, what's causing the loss of sensitivity and all the symptoms that you're experiencing. Good news is that your cranial nerves are intact. There's no uh, nerve damage, so no issues there. But your joint, it is pretty um, inflamed and damaged. So I'm gonna go ahead and write you a prescription. Is your pharmacy on file still good? Okay, so I'm gonna be sending you with Okay, these pills, you're going to be taking them every eight hours for two weeks. And it's just going to help you reduce the inflammation, okay? Okay, so I'm sending this. I'm sending this to your pharmacy. Do you have any other questions? Is there anything else that you would want to address today? No? That's everything? Okay, perfect. So, um, that's all for me today. So, I would want to see you again in two weeks after you take this treatment and want to see you back here at, um, and assess the level of pain that you're in and how your um, joint is improving um i'm gonna ask you to please keep a journal with your symptoms because that's just gonna help us figure out if they're decreasing and improving okay okay very good so um it was great meeting you and i'll see you again in two weeks